Hello again, everybody. Um, so yesterday was the 23rd of June. I'm actually a day late doing this video. Um, and that is my Queen's Capture Day. So my colony is four years old uh, yesterday. Uh, they're not that much bigger, as I'm just showing pictures from previous years. They're not that much bigger than they were last year. I think they're a tiny bit bigger, but not considerably. So that shows that my... Um, keeping them a little bit restricted on protein seems to be working quite well and I'm mostly holding the colony at this sort of size. Um, I've had a, a lot of um, ant heads basically in the trash. Here was some trash that I vacuumed out recently and there were a lot of ant heads in it. I don't think anything's actually going wrong. I think this is just workers dying from old age. The average lifespan of a Laceous Niger worker is somewhere between 12 to 18 months. Um, so basically I would expect there to be that amount constantly dying um, because that's how many there were let's say a year or 18 months ago. Um, but they're keeping up with their numbers, but they're not able to increase and get much bigger. Um, to answer the question that a lot of people asked at the start of the year, no, I haven't got any elates, uh, which I'm quite pleased about. I don't really want elates. I'm happy with the colony at this size. But yeah, it's absolutely amazing to think that this little insect, this queen, has been in my um, possession now for four years. Um, she came as just a queen and every single one of the workers that I see running around my setup was born in captivity. Um, incredible story. I'm really pleased. Um, the other thing that I thought I'd just mention today is nuptial flights, um, because it is that time of year. There's going to be nuptial flights anytime soon. I, I, I checked today, actually, before I made this video, and I, I couldn't see any activity from my ants outside. Um, I did see a Reddit post that said there was a nuptial flight in Rotterdam today. So some areas may be having nuptial flights. The weather's right. It's looking good. Um, but there seems to be a little bit of confusion from some of the questions I've had about how nuptial flights actually work. So the reason I, I tell you to check your local colonies is to see whether or not they are interested in having a nuptial flight. As I've said before, pre-nuptial flight, sometimes they will do this and won't fly, or sometimes they do this in the hours before they fly. You will see lots of elates coming out of the nest entrance and sort of milling around. Um, these are both male and female, so the little ones, like these ones here, these are the males and the larger ones are the females. And it's very probably the males that actually get things started. Um, the males will be the ones pushing for a nuptial flight, even if things aren't quite right. And it is possible, especially in, it's quite common in some species, not so common in Laceus, but common in some species, that you can have male-only nuptial flights where the males get so eager, they fly, but the females think, nah, it's not quite right, we're not flying. And then those males are, are just lost because they didn't find any females to mate with. But yeah, on the right day, when they decide it's going to be nuptial flight day, that's when you will see them taking off. And when after they've taken off, they will fly up really quite high um, and they will mate as high as a cloud. In fact, um, Laceus niger, when they're having a big nuptial flight, can actually be picked up by weather radar and can be seen and appear to be like clouds, as this is a clip from um, Good Morning Britain from two years ago. People may have seen yesterday um, lots of flying ants. Did you see them? Yes, there were yeah. tons. Yeah, big ones. Um, it was flying ant day. Um, Emily, I'm sorry if you want to change. Emily does my weather graphics. I've actually got a radar to show the flying ants. Really? Oh, can we see you want it? to see it? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Please. I'm going to spin around. So yeah. it. Where is it? Okay, here. So it looks like rain on the radar, but this little area here and this area here and here, millions and millions of flying ants are picked up by the radar. So it looked like it so was the raining. little blue bits. Yeah, all those little blue bits, all these wow. speckles here. And there's so many, it's actually getting Millions picked up. and millions of flying ants. So a radar works by a signal going out, hitting a raindrop, and then coming back, and it tells you it's raining. So the signal went out, hit all of the, the flying ants, and they came back. 
goodness wow. me. There we go. There you go. It's true. And, You're and welcome. So, so, and it's just flying ants day because that's the day that they, they all hatch. and They hatch and come out, yeah, and then oh. they die. And okay. then they're gone. Yeah. Well, I'm, th I'm really thrilled that you spotted them. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what happens. They may, and then they drop to the ground. So when they're coming back to the ground, they're, they're coming down like rain. It's raining queen ants that have mated. They are now miles away from the original nest that they flew from, and they're just carpeting a whole area. Um, and this must be like dropping into some sort of... Um, war zone for a poor queen ant. Uh, it's estimated that the chance of a queen ant actually successfully raising a colony is about one in 500. I mean, everything's waiting for them on the ground. Predators, the birds want to eat them, the spiders want to eat them. Um, other Laceous Niger colonies, if they land near an established colony, wants to kill the queens because they don't want queens setting up on their doorstep. Um, but what this means for you is that the Laceous Niger colonies that you see in your back garden are not important to whether or not you will or will not get queens landing in your garden. The queens that land in your garden, like I said, will have come from miles away and won't be the ones from your garden colony. And that's why I always say to new ant keepers, get the ones without wings. I know it's possible for a queen to get interrupted and not remove her wings. But in, especially again with Laceus, in 95 to 99% of the time, they will remove their wings. And if you catch one without wings, you know it's one that's finished the nuptial flight and not one that's pre-takeoff before the nuptial flight. Therefore, the one that you catch is more likely to be mated. Anyway, I hope there'll be some nuptial flights soon. The weather's looking much better. Um, it's the time of year. Anyone who is looking for queens, now is the time to start watching the colonies and, and keeping an eye out because there is going to be a flight shortly, I believe. Anyway, thank you for watching everybody. Until next time, goodbye.